Hey guys, Coins and Drew here, uh, just to give you an idea of how cool it is where I live. Take a look at this, guys. I think that's, that's the stage. This is my window, and there's water getting in my window, making the wood a little bit damp. Look at it outside. Yeah, a little bit of snow. But anyways, guys, it's negative two degrees outside, and what better day on a snow day that I got, which is today's Monday and tomorrow's Tuesday to uh, go through my coins and make a coin hunting video. Alright guys, so to start off the video we got the uncirculated, or semi-uncirculated hope we don't get too much glare here. Got 1963, as you can see that's in really good shape. Look at that. Got a 1979 in fairly decent shape. 1970D in fairly good shape as well. 1978D in fairly good shape. That one I might need for my book. And uh, 86 in fairly nice shape too. And is that damage or is that an error? Hmm. Strange. Alright, now going over to the possible proof that might be in some strange coin. Uh, got a 1961. Kind of looks a bit proof like if you look at it. Uh, not really too much on the camera. It might just be an uncirculated or AU coin. Should I say not uncirculated? It could have been an old proof, I guess. And we got this weird coin. I think it's like a 1986 or something. Very kind of weird. I don't know if that's just damage, PMD, post-mint damage, or what. But the back of the coin is fine. The front of it's kind of weird. Very strange. Okay, now moving over to the pennies. Got a 73S and a 68S. Don't find those every box, especially even the 73S. I got a 1951 uh, George penny. What was that King George uh, the sixth? If I th yeah, King George the sixth. Got two 1958s and two 1964s. Then got a 1960D small date. Really nice. Uh, that's worth more than a penny. Not the greatest shape though, but still nice. 1999D, really off center on the side there, not that much. Kind of a weak strike if you look though. So, double error. Got this 1970D penny, it's kind of weird. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that's an error? It's like something hit it, maybe. It affects the backside too. See that? Kind of strange. So maybe that's post mint damage, maybe that's even mint damage. Then when I found this, I showed it to my dad and he laughed with this. 2012, <laughs> someone stamped a P into it. As you guys know, all the um, Philadelphia coins that were pennies never got stamped as a P. You know, Philadelphia mint mark, there's no such thing really as a Philadelphia mint mark for, um, you know, pennies because they just left it blank. Um, got a 1970D, it's in fairly nice shape. I'm going to put that in my book, replace the one that's circulated. 1960D, fairly nice shape, but I think that's a scratch. I'll check it if it's a double die or not. 1968D in fairly decent shape, and 1959 in fairly decent shape as well. Now, uh, let's do something different. I usually do nickels after this little corner here. I'm going to do pennies here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wheat pennies. So, lower than the last box, but not bad for the first box of the year. 1942D is the oldest. That's an uncommon date. 1944, 1944S, 1945s, 1950, 1953, 1953D, 1957D, very nice shape. Has some nice original luster on it. So I like to see that on coins. And a 1958, just to give you a better look at that. 1958. Now moving over to the lovely nickels. Did not score any 1930s uh, Jefferson nickels. Just scored a 1940, and this is in fact a S mint mark. 1947 S's, which is really nice because S mint mark, they only made 24 million of. So, fairly decent low mintage. I don't know if it would be considered as a semi key of the 40s, but maybe. 1948 Flame, in fairly decent shape. 
1949, and that's in really nice shape. It's like XF condition. Some nice luster on it. Might need that to replace my book. 1951, and this is a D. Not bad. Nice coin. 1952S has some nice luster on it. More of an uncommon date. I don't know if it's technically rare, but nice. Got two 1953s. And then, this is strange, coming up here, not this one, but the one under it. 1954. And this one right here. Okay, it's, it's, it's a weak strike, yeah. 1954. Has some toning if you look at it. Maybe I can catch that. Just a cent just a little bit of toning. You look at the back of it, you might think, ah, it's just a, just a P-Mint mark. Yeah, if you look closely, it's really not. It's actually nice. <laughs> Very strange. If I can zoom out with one finger, apparently I can't. There you go. So very strange. I knew that immediately it was going to be an S mint mark, and then I saw this no mint mark there, and I look closer, and there's an S. So, just a really weak strike, I guess. Not bad. Got a 1956 in fairly decent shape. I think they're really close close-ups on. And a 1957 in fairly decent shape as well. Alright, now moving over to the better coin, should I say. Um, this box, first box of the year, scored some really nice things. So I think I'll start off with... Uh, these two coins over here. All right, you ready, guys? Take a look at this. A 1938. Look at that condition. Look at that condition. That is in really nice shape. Sorry, the glare guys. Working on getting a new camera. I think I found one at Walmart. Let's see, pick it up though. 1938. Really nice shape. Look at that. What is this, maybe AU condition? I don't want to say it's uncirculated, even though it has luster to be uncirculated. And then I found this 1940, and it's in fairly decent shape. I just put it aside because it still has some nice luster. It's probably about XF. But look at the steps, guys. I think it actually has full steps. Yep, has full steps. Or just about full steps. It's not even uncirculated. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I think I found like one like that uh, last year, technically last year, even though it was technically two months ago, um, 2013 I should say. And I got a 1943 Warnicle, and with my hand here, and shadows are not evening out. But look, we got some die crack, crackage maybe, if that's a word. It's a 1943 Silver Nickel, first one of the year, it's a P, not bad. And then guys, look at this. First box of the year. Look what I scored. A buffalo nickel. And it's actually one I don't think I've ever found before. It's a 1930. Look at that. 1930. It's in fairly decent shape for being in circulation. Who knows how many years. Maybe it was from someone's collection. Might have been released during the uh, winter month. Month of December. Someone might have cashed in a collection. It's about AG condition. So yeah guys, um, thanks guys for watching and uh, happy hunting guys. So, see you guys later. Not a bad box for 2014. First, yeah, first box 2014. See you guys later.